All right. Good evening, sir. Once again, and good evening to the rest of the house. For those of us who will be seeing this video, what <coughs> what this video would cover is how to utilize images and assign IDs to them so that they can be listed in schedules. Um, keep in mind, here's the image I'll be using as a sample. I can enlarge it so we see what it is. It's a fire detector system. Okay, so. Um, first thing first is how to convert it to an object. Akika doesn't assign IDs to images, and images can be gotten as part of figure over here. So that was how this came. There is always um, Akikad default, which I think is the Akikad logo. But I won't be placing that. I'm just going to utilize this. So I click on it, and I'm going to go from file here into libraries and objects and i'm going to save selection as an object and what i'm going to do to this object is give it a name in this case fire the deck and say save that name and i can ignore the pen details for now and say okay so after having done this then i'm going to start placing the object where I need to. I already created a layer before I started this tutorial and I named that layer fire. This particular one as you can see here. The idea behind doing that was I want all of these objects to be on that layer. I already have a different layer where I have placed furnishing on this project. And the importance of using layers to differentiate them will show itself in some minutes. So I'm going to hide the furniture layer once again and then I'm going to place the fire detector. Of course it's needed in the kitchen. Um, let's just place one in the lounge, one for each bedroom. It's not necessarily something we use that much in residential buildings. This is just for the sake of this tutorial. So I think there's about five or six of them. Let's add one here. Add one more here. Okay. So, now that I have done this, the next thing that comes up is I'm going to go to the schedules. Okay. I'm going to open schedules here, elements specifically then object inventory and what happens when I open this schedule is that every object that has been placed in this project I expected to display. Akikad is going to create a list of all items that have been placed on the project so we can see furniture, we can see the sofa, we can see the lamp I used earlier and this is way too elaborate for the purpose that I need right now so I'm going to have to trim this down Rather than change this, I'm going to create a new one. I'll first of all go into this um, settings here, the scheme settings, and I'll create new. And I'm going to name this one Fire Detection Schedule. Not the most ideal name, but I think we got it. Oh, and by the way, this is the ID I meant. I'm just going to cut this and paste here. And let's just call this zero 01. Okay, then I say okay to this. So the element type it's supposed to pick all elements that are of the type object, and then I'm going to add one more criteria which is by the layer that they belong to, and that layer in this case is fire. All right, so what are the fields I want it to display? All I need it to display is elements id then also display um let's see what do we ask it to display next exercise from the id maybe position i didn't use zones in that project but yes let's just add position and i could quickly also explain the use of zones here and it's not position in this case now it's going to be zoom that's the word to search on Akikad, so that's related zone name. All right, and say okay. And now we can see that. Um, okay, that was not the correct one that opened. What opened is object inventory. I'm going to click in here to open the new one. 
and you see that it has IDs attached to all of them. Okay, let's also add the plan view. All right, so 2D plan preview. What does it look like on the 2D plan? And let's add OK to that, and then we can see this. If you want to make this look a bit more pretty, one thing you can do is first of all reduce your font size probably to like 2 mm and then you see this is a bit much more presentable and you could always <coughs> enlarge it to fit the screen better if you feel like it you could change the font sizes and i feel i'm beginning to digress very much on what the original topic for this video was to some extent i believe i've handled that let me just input some zones and then we see how that can also be reflected in the schedule Alright, so I'm going to use the zone tool here and then um, create one for the lounge and place it here. Alright, create another one for the kitchen and place it right here. Create another one for the stair hall and place it here. And bit by bit we can just get to see them all now observe that that object there is one here there is one here there is one here there is one here now i want a case where there are going to be two in the lounge not because of we need two in the lounge but also just for you to be aware that now akikad is going to put these two and classify them into that zone now look at this um the list has been updated by the way so now there's two more items and you can see that this is located in the kitchen this is located in the lounge this is also located in the lounge this is in the stair hall this is also in the stair hall so i think you get the general idea this wasn't spelled well but that's not the point so akikad is able to read that information and utilize it if you want to customize these ids and use what you want then what i would suggest is you could pick them one at a time pick this one for example scroll all the way down here give it the id name you want do the same thing for this one and this one and so on and so forth you go around everything i hope this video was helpful to you if it was just leave a like you can drop a comment on any aspect of the video that was not very clear and i would go to it let me quickly move into the next one. I'll be uploading this immediately.